Edwin, on that pitch to Morel, was that just a, a mislocation on your part? Yeah, I just missed right in the middle. You know, the middle called me fastball away and tried to throw it there. Just I, the ball I came back to the middle and he hit it pretty good. How much did the second pitch being called a ball change the at bat for you? Man, I thought it was a ball. I don't know if I, I hit the corner or something. You know, but that, that's part of the game, man. And that's part of the game. I just, you know, I gotta keep battling, and that's what I did. I keep making pitches, you know, give the homer, and then get the next guy, the next guy out. Obviously, you never want to give up runs, but given the way that Severino pitched, that would sting a little more. Yeah, that's that sucks because man, he threw a, a great game. You know, in the eight, he was, he came in, he came in the eight with a no hit. I was thinking like. I was talking to Rock, the bullpen catcher, two years ago. We threw one on here this, this day, so I was a little bit nervous in the bullpen, you know, just knowing like can come in the game and have the same situation I have a couple of years ago. Uh, but they, they give it a base and they get they score the run. I came in the game tie and try to do my job. As you're immensely preparing like you always do in the bullpen, how different is a day like today where you know it's a one-run ball game, but at the same time Severino is dominating the way he is and has a chance to do something special? Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's great, man. He, he was dealing, you know. I go to the bullpen around the fifth inning, and in the fifth inning, I was try, trying to get ready quick to go out because he was throwing a great game, a quick game. And he just came in the eighth, you know, throwing a, a really good game, and he, he did his job today, you know. I, I, tip, I tip my hat to him. He did a great job, and, you know, that's on me today. What was it like for you guys in the bullpen watching this or trying to follow it? We was just quiet, you know. We don't want to talk much because we knew he was throwing a no hitter, so we just was trying to watch the game and if, to see if we anyone in the bullpen got the chance to pitch and keep keep doing like he was doing. Brandon, from your vantage point, what made Severino so dominant tonight? Yeah, I mean, um, I think just he was he was locating his pitches really well, and um, you know, obviously we we know he has nasty stuff, and so um, when he locates well and um, and is able to. Um, you know, kind of just like stay on his game plan and uh, and execute. Then he's he's really tough to hit. So um, just felt like he was really in a good rhythm, and it just seemed like he had it right from the beginning. Is there a point in the night where you start to not just realize what's happening, but start to feel like this this has a good chance at yeah. happening? Yeah, I mean, when he got through the sixth, um, you know, I felt good felt good about where he was and uh, his pitch count, and you know, everything was just lining up right, um, and so. Um, you know, right around the end of the sixth inning is, is kind of when I was um, excited for him. Did you feel like you got all of it there on that? I forget. It was, I think it was your last at bat. Yeah, the last one. Yeah, I mean, I did. I, I, I hit that really well and, um, you know, um, was pretty frustrated uh, coming around around first. I don't I don't take my helmet off often. Um, so, um, but just not good enough, you know, and, uh you know, got it. Got to hit it better. Got to be better. But um, I did. I thought. Thought I. Thought I kind of helped us win the game right there. So. To go over the last two innings when no hit bit is alive to the bottom of the ninth and the way that unfolded. What is the swing of emotions like in the time? Yeah, I mean it happens quick, um, and that's how baseball can go. But yeah, to go from you know uh, possible no hitter and winning a ball game um, in a very exciting fashion to you know being down two runs. Um, you know, and then <clears throat> obviously Morel putting a good swing on it. Um, you know, it's it's tough. Um, you know, but baseball it, it never promises to be easy. Um, you know, it's going to be frustrating most of the time, um, and uh, you know, you you have to be able to pick yourself up, move forward, um, and kind of forget about it for the next day. But um, it is it's tough. You know, it's a it's a it's a whirlwind of emotions. What do you think this says about Severino? Yeah, I, I just think that he's he's pitching really well. Um, he's kind of finding his groove, and uh, you know I think uh, I think it just shows that you know he's capable of what everybody thought he was. Um, you know, and, and he's really um, pitching well, and, and you can see that confidence on him, and, um, and and just in the way that he's he's going about his business out there. So very happy for him, and uh, you know just wishing him continued success. Was there a specific adjustment that you maybe saw from Ty on after the first inning? Um, yeah, he, he was throwing, uh, you know, a few more off-speed pitches, um, but, you know, located well, um, was getting, um, getting you know, some soft contact. Um, but, uh, you know, I think he, he just kind of like, you know, with Severino's performance, he was just kind of silently having a good night and um, uh, just hitting locations and uh, keeping guys off balance. So um, I think he, you know, obviously tip your, tip your cap to him as well. He, he had a, a great night um, and made, made good adjustments.
Joey, what, what's the thought process in the moment trying to go for two rather than throw home? Um, yeah, I mean, I thought we had an opportunity to turn double play. Uh, initially, thought the, the ball was hit a little bit harder than it, than it was. Um, by that point, I had already set my feet and kind of committed to trying to turn the double play. Um, you know, if you, if you hesitate there and, and try to do something else, then, then it doesn't work. So, uh, you know, obviously looked at the replay. We had him at home. I, I had an opportunity to get him at home, uh, but I also felt I had an opportunity to, you know, end the inning, um, and that's the decision I made, and, you know, unfortunately the wrong one.